about three years ago, I watched Sonic Mania Adventures. Or was it Sonic Mania Adventure? It's probably uh, one of those two. But, uh, apparently, okay, I'm gonna say right now, I love Sonic Mania Adventure. And I, re I recommend checking it out, like, right now, before watching this video, alright? There's, it's only five parts, and uh, there's only a, there's actually a, uh, like a, a completed five part full video. You don't have to watch the five separate parts, but you can if you want. Uh, and then there's also part six, which I also recommend checking out. It's actually, I actually like part six. Um, anyway, so I watched it, and I liked it about, it, I liked it, like, very much. It was amazing. I love it. Sonic Mania Adventures. However, I do have to say it was 99% perfect. Notice how I said 99%. Hello everybody, this is Dr. F999, and welcome to a video that I've been wanting to do for actually a long time though, I've been actually wanting to make this video because I have been wanting to fix this little problem for a while. Anyway, so Sonic Mania Adventure is 99% perfect, but what's the one percent that's well? What's the one percent that's not perfect? I'll show you. Here's a clip from Sonic Mania Adventures. So, uh, did you say anything wrong with the clip? I'll play it again. No? Still nothing? Alright, one more time. Come on, you got at least figure it out by now. It's the eyes! Alright, first of all, Robotnik- Do Dr. Robotnik does not have normal eyes, alright? He just does not, alright? Listen, and I'll show you why I do not agree with this sudden eye change. The reason why I think that, uh, that I think that Robotnik shouldn't have normal eyes is because, well, I mean, to be honest, he didn't really have normal eyes to begin with. In, uh, in Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, his eyes were black with a uh, red iris and a black pupil. That, th those look like creepy, those look like creepy eyes. And in the Son the regular Sonic the Hedgehog show, or Sonic Satam, he had, uh, like, about, like, almost the same eyes as the Adventure one does, except he has black eyes and red pupils this time. Whereas the Adventure one does, was black eyes, red iris, and black pupil. Meanwhile, this one has a red pupil. And his Sonic Underground look... Uh, looks about the same as the Satam look, since uh, that show's kind of had the same-ish, ish, ish, ish story as the original show. Anyways, this this is actually this isn't actually the origin of Black Red Eye Robotnik. This all started with the front cover of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Except here, he just has black eyes. He doesn't even have pupils. He just has it's just a void. It's just a black void in his eyes, and it looked it looked creepy. It looks creepy. He kind of looked like that in the game, and uh, he also looks like that in the Sonic uh, the Hedgehog Chaos cover, uh, like right there. He has bl uh, black void eyes as usual, and the in the American cover for Sonic Spinball, he has the black eyes again, except in the European cover. He, uh, looks like his adventure look. Even the Archie comics got this right. Except here, uh, actually no, this was like, uh, comics 1 through 50, uh, was sort of like a tiny bit of Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog Robotnik, 
but mixed in with a uh, satan, mo mostly sat. It was mostly satan robotic. Here he has the black eyes with the red pupils, and he was creepy as ever. Now, ever since later comics were the sudden change to uh, Dr. Eggman, he has the same thing here. This was, I think, comic number 200, where Dr. Eggman went insane, except instead of his eyes being normal eyes, it's been not normal eyes, but like normal looking creepy black eyes with red pupils, uh, they kind of sometimes tend to change from time to time, depending on how crazy he is. Like, look, this one, he actually has a black pupil and a red iris. So yeah, they, like, they, uh, yeah, they change. There was, this was also a thing in Sonic the Comic, except in early comics, this was his, uh, his, like, uh, his Sonic uh, 2 look, and, um, it was just a black boy. But then he eventually changed to his adventure look with, uh, red iris and black pupils with the black eyes. Now, why did Sega suddenly change his eyes to look like normal eyes all of a sudden? I don't know. I assume that they just forgot what Robotnik looked like. And that's about it. However, I am going to change that. How did I accomplish this? I had to take every single frame of where Dr. Robotnik's eyes were open and on screen. And just how many frames were there? Well, here, I'll show you. There were 25 frames I had to change in order for it to look better and creepier. So I started with the first frame, thinking that this was going to take me like an hour or something. But to my surprise, it took shorter than I expected. I got through like half of the frames in like I think like three minutes and it was just like it was actually pretty easy to do all I had to do was just open up paint 3d put the bucket on red and then all of a sudden well boom there we go I just put I just gave him a red pupils and boom put the black on the bucket and made his eyes black and already, it looks better. I was happy for how quick this was. This honestly looked amazing to me. And, well, I decided to do it again. And, well, here's the process. Basically, it wasn't that hard, and it wasn't that challenging. There were, however, some challenging bits where uh, Robotnik's eyes were a bit closed, um sometimes and uh well some of the black on his eyes uh made it kind of harder for this to work but it honestly paid off in the end for uh, for how great this was and this was so easy to do i i i was happy i i was proud of myself for my work on fixing robotnik and making him slightly a little bit creepier. I mean, he doesn't look creepy making that face, but at least the eyes might help a little. And, well, here's the end results. It took a lot of work, but it all paid off in the end, and it was amazing. Well, hope you all enjoyed this video, because it certainly was fun to make. Anyways, thank you everybody for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye! Yeah, Sega definitely forgot to put the, the good eyes on Robotnik.